Does this fossil tooth belong to the largest dog ever? No, but it does belong to the first dog ever. Say hello to Hesperocyon, the earliest member of the dog family known as the Canidae. This early little dog weighed only three to five pounds and looked sort of like a cross between a fox and a weasel. So they were super weird among the animals you now think of as dogs. They could climb. Their wrists could pronate inward like a raccoon, meaning that Hesperocyon was likely a generalist capable of hunting both on the ground and in trees, a trait that's been lost in modern dogs. Hesperocyon, whose name means dog from the west, first appears in the fossil record in the latest Eocene, around 40 million years ago, in the disappearing swamps of what are now the Great Plains of North America. That's right, the earliest common ancestor of every dog you've ever seen and every dog you've never seen is a blue-blooded American. But don't pull out your stars and stripes to celebrate with Spot and Fido just yet, because America hasn't been too kind to your furry friend's ultra-great-grandparents' homelands as of late. A lot of the known Hesperocyon fossils come from public lands, places like Badlands National Park, Toadstool Geologic Park, and more. So the research that allowed us to trace everyone's best friend back to this climbing critter wouldn't have been possible without the funding to conduct paleontology on our nation's public lands. Since the current administration has slashed funding to the parks, and has begun opening your public lands for exploitation, the sort of research that led to what we know about Hesperocyon is becoming impossible to fund. That's why we want you, yes you, to donate to the National Parks Foundation and put the pressure on your local, state, and federal governments to protect what belongs to you, your family, and everyone you know. Protect our shared heritage by protecting the fossil record.